Back at Kauffman Stadium as the Royals right now trailing the Indians 3-0. Always enjoy Futures Night. And right now we are joined by the Idaho Falls Player of the Year, Amalani Fukafuka. Fifth round draft choice from 2013. So, Amalani, you told me you've been here before for a pre-draft workout, but never for a game. What's this like being here? Man, it's crazy. All these fans, especially after we clinched yesterday, so it's exciting. How about the buzz here, too? And how much do you start thinking about, hmm, maybe one day I could be this guy here? Yeah, for sure. Every time I'm uh, uh, watching a bat, I just picture myself being up there. So it's exciting. Yeah. You had a great year. I know you're a very athletic kid uh, from California. Tell us a little bit about your game. We don't get a chance, obviously, to see Idaho Falls Chuckers games here. But tell us what, what your game is. Uh, I just try to go to the plate every time, try to hit the ball hard. That's all. Keep it simple. Good athlete, obviously. I was just talking to Derek Gordon, Alex's brother. He pitched on your team, and then he was saying that you're, you're a guy that can go out there and, and get after it quite a bit. How much is athleticism a part of that game? Uh, it's definitely a big part of the game. I mean, of course, hitting's a big part, but uh, the athleticism definitely helps. Tell us about your background, because I remember when you were drafted, the first thing we needed to do was say, okay, we need to learn how to say your name correctly. We don't, we don't have a lot of names like Amalani Fuka Fuka, but tell us about your family's background. Uh, yeah, my dad uh, came to the States uh, from Tonga when he was 13, and my mom was born and raised in uh, California, Bay Area. And uh, yeah, it, some people uh, mispronounce my name, but it's fine. I, I get it all the time. So. I'm sure you have heard it all. We'll leave it at that. But I, but I want to say, how did you get into baseball? Obviously, the Royals saw a lot in you to draft you out of high school in the fifth round. Where did that passion and that love of the game come from? Uh, just by playing uh, since I was five, just starting T-ball, uh, always playing every year. And uh, the older I got, the more exciting it got. So. Um, uh, fortunately, the Royals uh, drafted me, and now I'm here. Yeah. It's definitely a blessing. Tell us about the day that all of you had here, the minor leaguers. I know it's always a fun one. Uh, Some of the activities that you all had. Oh, uh, yeah, we got to uh, sign a couple of autographs. Um, we got to go in the clubhouse, visit the players, and uh, it was just a cool experience overall. It was, uh, it was exciting. Do you have a favorite player in the big leagues or a Royal even that you maybe look up to? Uh, I do like uh, Lorenzo Cain just because he's a crazy athletic <laughs> right hand outfielder. Just like or I try to be like him. So So maybe one day the hope of being the next Lorenzo Cain as you're watching these guys. And you saw tonight that flag that went up there, the first one in 30 years, a division championship. When you, when you look up there, how much do you think about I'd like to be one of those guys helping this team win a division championship. Yeah, 100 percent. I uh, I definitely want to help one day get up here in the big leagues and help these guys out. So. Well, it's great to have you here and always nice to to get a little peek at the future. Amalani, congratulations on the season and we'll look forward to watching your progress. Thank you. All right, guys, there you go. Ryan, I don't know if you're starting to feel old or not, but the young guys, yeah, they're looking up to the Lorenzo Canes of the world <laughs> now, and for good reason. That's Amalani Fuka Fuka.